don't see enough contortion. No, you don't. No. You don't. Thank you. You don't see people just there. Do you know it's true that he was actually an accountant at one time? He was formerly an extortionist, now an extortionist. It, he just changed a few letters of the... Uh... So that was, that's the, is that his whole act in the circus? He just kind of gets in there? Uh, I think he... Uh, uh, I haven't seen it yet this year. I took my kid last year. He went into a complete panic, even uh -huh. seeing a clown. So I figured that would probably put him away for three years. Uh, um, no, he actually embellishes it more. He takes time coming out and flourishing and all that. It's amazing that circus still works. You know what I mean? That people will go and kids will watch the clowns come out and they go, where do the clowns come from? How do they all come out of the Volkswagen, you know? Well, you can, you can fool four-year-old children. Yeah. Actually, uh, <laughs> they're very hard to. Did you ever tease one and you look the other way? You know, they don't know what's happening. Um, but that you know, reminded me of uh, Petland Discounts. I mean, you know, that's like a terrarium he was in there. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Uh, can I still call you a... a what? On the whole thing. Though. Oh, well, we got renewed. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Can I still call you a young comedian? You I don't know. How long is the there? statute of limitations on young comedians? Uh, it's getting close for me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in that article in Time magazine about a bunch of you young guys, I was like someone from the Museum of Natural History. <laughs> comedian. <laughs> Stuff the 19, circa 1970s. You know, they like you. There's a natural history, and they show you everything is all shellac. You know. You know, you're doing great. One of the things about you is so interesting that, unlike a lot of us, you were not the class clown, right? No, not really. I mean, uh, you know, I remember when I was a kid, what I would play with was those, uh, those little, uh, you know, practical jokes that you wrote with the little yellow tag. You remember, the, you know, the rubber vomit and the fly in the ice and all. They were never really practical jokes. Oh. I mean, <laughs> You had to set them up, it was pretty involved. But I always thought because it was such a reverse advertising for it, you know, it would say, revolting, you know, I mean, like, hey, this is, you know, what I'm looking for. So like, everyone will hate you, you know. But, uh, but you were not the kind of cut up and all that. I don't know. What did you think who, you wanted to be? I wanted to be a comedian, but who knew? But you didn't come out of the closet till much later. No, right? no, I was kind of the back of the room, the class note, funny note passer. Yeah. And now, do you look back with great satisfaction? You're having a good time. I hear you got a Porsche. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I... Oh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, comedy is great. Not married, though, yet? No, Ooh. no. Uh, well, it's... Uh, I was engaged one time. And uh, pretty tense. <laughs> being engaged to me... It was like being on the beginning of a roller coaster where you're just going up, you know, that tick, 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 tick. <laughs> and you get to the top, they give you the ring and the piece of cake, and you go, what? So I didn't want to get married, but I don't know. Uh... Comedian needs a good wife and a fine home to yeah. come home to after the laughs, you know, after those laughs are over. You know what I was talking about the other night? When people touch their face when you ask them about their relationship. Just then I went to my face. See that? I was about to make it, try to make it my ear when you said that. How's it going with uh, Judy? Okay. All right. You know. Really? Yeah, well, the higher up on your face you go, the worse the relationship is. Yeah, well, ask yeah. me how things are going. <laughs> Because a man will start out down here. You've been going out with that Judy? Yeah, I've been seeing that girl. Yeah. You know, you... And That's then good. Start, yeah, then here, well, I don't know. I think we're going to, you know. <laughs> men, you know, the sexual imperative of men. This is the inescapable. We cannot stop the staring, the honking, the screaming from construction sites. This is what men do. And if you, I always feel like if you could just see men operating in bars on, if you get like a camera far enough away from the earth, to just see the men in the bars would look exactly like sperm under a microscope. Same kind of, you know, random, totally disorganized activity. Well, you don't do that sort of thing, nor, nor no. do I. Not all of us are no. in that group. I mean, I did with Clinton. They, uh, when I went to high school in the Bronx, there were 4,000 boys. Yeah. Uh, someone there for that. <laughs> Who also showed the tremendous rapport they had with women on the street. Hey, lady. Hey, honey. <laughs> Where's your sister? You know, like this. Uh, what I always, I always thought would should sober them up is don't you have a mother or a sister probably wouldn't you get your pajamas kicked for that one huh? no. you're bi-coastal i have a, a place in l.a a place in new york i travel you do a lot of traveling a lot of traveling i don't mind well i certainly feel safe in airports thanks to the high caliber security Oh, yeah. The, uh, I love those people. You know, where do they get... This is like people that wanted to work part-time at a car wash and just didn't have the qualifications, so they went for the airport job. And they... 
they watch that see, you know they have the x-ray stuff is passing through right yeah. so they're watching the screen now you've looked in the screen do you see anything in the screen that you reckon what is it they just watch shapes going by and they just go all right uh, hair dry with a scope on it keep it moving I don't my harmonica uh, gets asked, stopped all the time oh, really? as if that were a lethal weapon the way i play it it's a lethal weapon but it doesn't look like any weapon um, uh, no, I, I, I imagine that they don't pay very much. No, I don't know why. This is our front line against terrorism. We want the absolute high caliber. We're going to have a commercial now, probably for an airline. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll be right back with more Jerry Seinfeld. Right. You got to make that money. Yeah, yeah, that's what television's about, and television is part of your career, young fella. <laughs> don't spit at the hand that feeds you. That's the wrong saying. Uh, apes spit at the hand that feeds you. What do you think of television? Would you prefer to just do the in-person thing? Sure. Why do I need this aggravation? <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, all television. You're I... getting $490, I think. Is that or right? Or $510. All right, right, let me slow down then. Same as a Tonight Show. <laughs> really? No, we don't pay by the word. Get moving. Yeah. <laughs> Get moving. Um, I, I watch a lot of television. I, comedians love television. I don't know why. They just watch it. I don't watch shows. That's my problem. Is I watch television. I just flip around the thing, you know, and you go around once, you know there's nothing on, but that second lap, that's when they get you. <laughs> the second lap around the dial. I was watching professional wrestling, which is, of course... We have that here on USA. Really? The best. It's, that's uh, real, too. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't tell that to Hulk Hogan. In person, no Jerry Belzer me, uh, Richard Belzer me, and kill me. Go ahead. I love the, the ref guy. Yeah. This is, this is the greatest job in entertainment. He's a referee in a sport with absolutely no rules of any kind. He just has to run around going, okay, you know. <laughs> fine. You know. And the, you know, the, they do, they, you know, they have their bits that they do, and they do the bounce off the ropes bit. You know, this is my favorite bit. The, you know, this one where they go faster, and then they, they have, you know, tremendous muscle, but they come off a rope, and there's no way they could stop the momentum. You know, I'm a prisoner of inertia. You know, this, and they, I slam. But of course, it's somewhat counterproductive to injure yourself in order to injure someone else. What it gets me is every time they punch someone, they stomp on the ground yeah. at the same time. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, why yeah. do that? You know, have you seen those gorgeous gals of wrestling? Oh, sure. We're going back to the Romans. The whole civilization is uh, caving in in front of us. I think uh, my agent handles them, too. Those gorgeous gals. Really? They all have yeah. their bits. There's the uh, Iranian one and the Russian one. Right. And they're, you know, women who were models and do some bodybuilding. And it's something to say because it's almost, in a way, desexualized, like they're out of a comic book. I mean, I watch their breasts and all, yeah. but <laughs> like everyone else, but uh, uh, it, it's, it's sort of like, you know, we might have infant gladiators in between when the Super Bowl after sports season gets slow and, you know, you turn on uh, ABC and there's Popolsky yeah. bowling a 230 and, you know, it's a very depressing feeling to watch bowling on television. Or the golf on television is another... Not a great spectator. No, sport. it's kind of guys walking around outside. You know, <laughs> And there's another talented guy, by the way, the cameraman who can follow the golf ball in the sky. This is another tremendously talented cameraman. He can name his price. They hit a white ball 90 miles an hour. I've got it, you know, and he's with it. You know. I don't know why he doesn't just aim the camera at the sky, aim it at the ground, take a ball out, throw it down. Who's going to know where that is? You know. It's a ball. Show me the swing, the ball. That's all. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Uh, that's uh, actually probably very complicated to shoot golf. Yeah. You know, but you have to be a fanatic. You know, getting back to this wrestling thing, you know, in an odd way, even though it's, it's, it's set up, I mean, they're athletic people and all that, it's really very graphically violent. Yes. Um, I mean, you know, boxers, there's a lot of damage, like being the egg in the Volvo commercial, you know, <laughs> 200 of these, and you can get all kinds of notions. But this, even though it's make-believe, is I once went years ago when I was a student in New Haven, and I went, and there was a woman there drinking beer at 11 o'clock at night with two kids with their noses running, and she's gone, kill her! with no teeth and... Oh, the audience is the most amazing Yeah, part. they really get into I it. I find the only place you ever see those people is at the Motor Vehicle Bureau or <laughs> Professional Red. Those people go out twice a year, you know? Working or online? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, online. 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 The people working is... <laughs> they don't go anywhere. I don't think they can... That's, they're like postal employees and motor vehicle employees. It's all these... I call them they're like lava lamp employees. We you know, they the just... post office, I think. <laughs> Really, you with the post office? They seem to just, they have, like a lava lamp that moves the way, that's the way they move. It's just, just viscous globules. You wouldn't want your check mailed here, would you? Yeah. <laughs> um, the, 
Do you, you think you'll ever run out of ideas? You ever get frightened about running out of ideas? No. Something could, you ever go to analysis? You ever been in therapy? No. You ought to go. Why? You're crazy. I'm, <laughs> I'm not trying to talk you into being sick. No, I, I, I keep it simple. I don't, I don't think. I just, just... Jerry said such a funny line. He said, no matter how much news there is every day, it all always fits perfectly into the newspaper every day. Right, right. They, they must just That is not around. simple. That's a, com that's a complex thought. <laughs> yeah. How well, do they do it? Do I, well, I don't know. They just stand around after each edition going, I don't believe we just made it. We just made it again today. You know, and if one more thing happens, we're screwed here. We're just... I, I got a subscription to Time magazine. You guess why? I was watching the commercial and I got hooked. What do you think it was? And guess, what do you think it was in the commercial? The, the telephone? The watch? The telephone? No. The what? The video? No. The bathing suit edition? No. 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 Judy the time operator? No. She's very attractive, Judy the time. I tried to go out with her, but she's standing by 24 hours a day. You can't get her off of that phone. No, I got it because time flies and you are there. I just got so sucked. The song. I love the song. So I get the thing, and it doesn't fly. You know what I mean? It's, it sits on the back of the toilet, and you are there, basically. Right. You know. I have seldom seen people crying reading Time Magazine, too. You know, they brush away so the yeah. Time Magazine makes you... You know, I haven't really cried That's much. That's right. Are like you appearing in uh, Atlantic City? Oh, yeah. I'm with uh, Lola Falana. Lola! The dream combination, the two acts people have been waiting to see together, finally. Why not? Me and Lola Falana. Why not? Why not? Why not? So, uh, I I'll... met her years ago on the Flip Wilson show. Yeah. She's a sparkler. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like to play the casinos? No. no. Not really. You have such great teeth. Can I take a better look yeah. at you? I understand you're going out with uh, oh, a dentist's come daughter. Come on! A dentist's daughter? Yes, I'm going out with my dentist's daughter. Fifty jokes right there. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting to be written. You're right. We had an all-dentist jazz band last year. The, really? the uh, periodontist was quite a clarinetist. <laughs> um, there's no... Uh, thing. We, you don't have to talk about I it if you can't, don't want to. What can, you know, it's she's personal. a dentist. He's got the drill. She's a dentist? No, he's... The uh, father is... I go, I'm, I'm with the father. I'm with the girl. You're going out he's with the, the father? father. <laughs> My relationship is more intimate with the father. He's got the drill. You know. <laughs> so... Uh, I but it just know. so happens she's the daughter of a dentist. It's just so happens. She herself is not in the profession. No, uh -huh. no, she's just... Uh... But did you meet her through your dentist? So to speak, and yeah. So the first time she may have ever met you, you were going... Ah, <laughs> That's ah, right. Ah, with with uh, gauze in your mouth or something? Yeah, with Or were the, you uh... high on nitrous oxide? <laughs> no, I was uh, just the back of my head. Uh, I think someone's going to get you yet. After a while, you'll see the life of a single man. Yeah. can be a lonely one, Jerry. <laughs> uh, and those jokes are all told, and the gals come. I don't know. Comedians don't have as many groupies, anyway, as musicians. No, you don't get the quality groupies. No. You, know. no. you get the, uh, you know, the uh, chimp groupies and the uh, circus groupies. And... No, I mean, it's a different sort of thing. People go, you're funny. Yeah. You know, and that's a compliment, but there's something that takes the edge off no, it romantic. No, it's not a romantic thing. Yeah, well, I think you could be a movie star and tell us. Oh, Are you interested Bob. maybe in a series? No. or Because we have one now, but a kooky guy in Baltimore married to a dentist's daughter. <laughs> you ready? And he adopts a very small black kid. Okay. How about that? And you play the wacky neighbor? I play the wacky neighbor who, who uh, clears the garbage all the time. Uh -huh. Why, you guys, I'm going to throw you out of here. There he is again. I know, there's a pattern. Yeah. There. Who's got the hormones? Yeah. Give me the honeymooners. Jerry, thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. It's Good great to see, to see you. And uh, Jerry Steinfeld, one of the best in our profession. We'll be right back. Calvin Trillin and Renee Taylor don't go well.